Hi everybody and welcome to Waratah TV, this leak presented by Molten. My name's Tim Wheeling and don't ask me why, somehow I'm hosting this week. I thought Rachel did a pretty good job last week, but lo and behold the fans wanted a change and somehow a redhead got voted in. Anyway, it's been a massive week in basketball. We're only weeks away from Maitland, so let's get right to the action and see what happened last week. A dominant performance from the visiting Bears with the win helping the side move up the competition at a crucial time of the season. There were no surprises when Horn be took on the Hawks at the Brick Pit. A full strength spider side led by Josh Chapman's double-double saw the side barely break a sweat in their 29 point thumping. The Sydney Comets came close to being stung by the Hornets, escaping with a one point victory. But right now we're going to take a moment and talk about Will McPhee. The guy dropped a massive 45 points and was a saving grace for the competition leaders. The Crusaders are on a charge to make it to the postseason after a 38 point victory against the Hunters, seeing the side hanging just outside side the six. Sutherland had a tough ask this weekend with the side facing a double header. They firstly went up against the Maitland Mustangs with Isaac Turner going toe to toe with fellow Yank Tyler Munro. Although it wasn't enough to get them across the line. While on Sunday the side were able to back up with a much needed home victory against the Manly Sea Eagles. They may have slipped out of the top two but the North Bears weren't able to get a much needed win against the Bruins in the championship women. Jamie Kennedy backing up from last week with another huge performance with 18 points and 12 boards. While the Hornsby Spiders have picked themselves right back up from where they left off, defeating the Hawks by 40 points. Serena Waters and Tara Kilmister putting in the work for the Spiders. In a relatively low scoring affair, an understrength Comet side escaping with the victory in the hills. A top of the table clash between the Bankstown Bruins and visiting Tamworth Thunderbolts in the Div 1 men's competition. The two sides have been a force to be reckoned with this season and if the scoreline is anything to go by, you'll know why. Luke Davies was no match for his opponents scoring 30 four points. The Hills Hornets are on a mission to make the playoffs and now they're sitting comfortably in the top four after a thumping of the Port Macquarie Dolphins. Carl Carlos doing the damage with 33 points and nine of those were three pointers. The Canberra Gunners have held on to their position in the competition defeating the Wagga Heat at home. While the Shoalhaven Tigers just made making it to the finals much harder after going down to the Sutherland Sharks at home. Ben White and Jason Freshwater doing their part in cementing the victory. With the Saints sticking to their winning ways down in the Sea Eagles on the road, Darnell Brown up to his usual standards. The rest of the weekend seeing Hornsby's Daniel Babb scoring a gigantic 56 points in their win against Illawarra Hawks, with the Crusaders, Lithgow, Razorbacks, Wagga and Port Macquarie also picking up the wins. In the Division 1 women, there were no surprises in the last regular season round for the competition. The Bathurst Gold Miners still asserting their dominance with a win over Wagga, while the Goulburn Bears were able to get the win on the road. The Central Coast Crusaders Div 1 Youth League men showed why they are leading the competition after a huge win against the visiting Panthers. Tommy Akamamoy putting in a huge performance for the home side, although it was Joel Klein from the visiting Penrith side who finished with the big numbers. While it was an understrength Comets outfit that weren't able to get the job done against the Hills Hornets. Jaden Prakash top scoring with 28 points. The Comets were able to finish the weekend with a win, defeating Manly on the road. Both sides starting fives, all hitting double digits. The rest of the weekend seeing Norse, Manly, the Waves and Maitland picking up the W's. The minor premiership may have already been won in the Div 1 Youth League women, but in a battle of 1v2, it wasn't a scoreline we can say we were expecting. Manly making the trip back from Terrigal empty-handed after a 30-point defeat. Lenny Katia and Shakira Riley top scoring for the sides. The Norse Bears are clutching to sixth place after their win over the Bruins. The Bears side showing a true team performance with all starting five making their mark on the match. The rest of the weekend seeing the Hunters, Penrith and Hornsby finish the weekend with wins. Another week in the Division 2 Youth League men and can I tell you there's been a lot of movement in the ladder. The Sydney Comets have been able to hold on to their second place spot after defeating the Hawks on the road. Jared Fernandez top scoring for the side. While the Saints aren't exactly marching, more like holding on after their win against Camden Valley over the weekend. John Taglini and Lee Mangeli is teaming up for 52 points. While Mossvale have been able to keep themselves in the mix with the rest of the competition after the defeating Hills, Connor Rowe top scoring with 23 points. The rest of the weekend seeing Hornsby, the Razorbacks and Manly finish the weekend with wins. Thanks to our good friends at Moulton, this week's MVP nominations are... In the Championship Men, it's Will McPhee from the Sydney Comets. And from Division 2 Youth League Men from St George, it's Liam Angelis. In the Championship Women, it's Tara Kilmester from the Hornsby Spiders. And from the Youth League Women, it's Lenny Katia from the Central Coast Crusaders. Congratulations to last week's winners. And Norse have picked up the double with Liam Moss and Jamie Kennedy 
both the winners. Well, that's it from me. Fingers crossed that you never have to see me in front of camera again. Anyway, we're almost at Maitland and things are heating up on the court. Make sure you get out there and support your team because you never know, you might be the difference with getting them over the line on the road to Maitland. Thanks again and good luck.